Uh, yesterday, CDC reported just over 10,000 new cases of COVID-19. Our seven-day average is 13,277 cases per day, and this represents yet another decrease of nearly 30% from the prior seven-day average, but most importantly, a 94% decrease from COVID-19 cases since January of this year and the first time that the seven-day average of cases has been less than 15,000 since March 27th, 2020. In other good news, the seven-day average of new hospital admissions is just a bit over 2,200. That is a decrease of 83% in hospitalizations since January 9th of this year, when we peaked at over 16,500 average daily admissions. And finally, the seven-day average of daily deaths remains at 379 per day. What I'm gonna do right now is spend the next couple of minutes talking to you about a subject that has gained a lot more attention over the last few days, and that has to do with the variants in general, but particularly in the variant which we now refer to as Delta. In the UK, the Delta variant is the rapidly emerging as the dominant variant, greater than 60%. It is replacing the B117. We cannot let that happen in the United States, which is such a powerful argument to underscore what Dr. Walensky said. To get vaccinated, particularly if you've had your first dose, make sure you get that second dose. And for those who have been not vaccinated yet, please get vaccinated. 